we've had reliability information on the Tesla Model S. We have 1,400 in our survey. Um, and this year, the reliability has moved from average to below average. So the last two years it was average, which enabled us to recommend the vehicle. But this year, with a below average rating, we're no longer recommending the Tesla Model S. And as Mark talked about before, this is a car that performs incredibly well. Um, some of you may have heard that we gave it a pretty good rating uh, not too long ago in terms of when we tested the Tesla Model S P85D. But that's about how the car performs. That's not about how it holds up. And in terms of that, we are seeing issues coming from our subscribers when they tell us about this car. Now let me be very clear. When we ask them about that car, they tell us how much they love the car. In fact, in terms of owner satisfaction, it's still just about the tops. In terms of what I've said, they would buy the car again, they love it, but they are being honest about what's going on with this car. And they've reported drivetrain issues, power equipment issues, charging equipment issues, body and sunroof, squeaks, rattles. Um, here are some of the actual comments from people, so about the 1,400 people um, have filled out the survey. They replaced the motor. The charging system failed. Display system froze, needed to be replaced. Wiper stopped working. Squeaking at some area, door handle wouldn't retract. We had that problem too. 